हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू द लेसन नंबर इलेवन दिस इज़ द एट्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स इन द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग एन बी एफ सी ओके फ्रॉम द लास्ट थ्री फोर वीडियो सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू दैट एंड अप टिल नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द मीनिंग ऑफ एन बी एफ सीज कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ एन बी एफ सीज रेगुलेटर्स ऑफ एन बी एफ सीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन different types of nbfcs which were mostly regulated by reserve bank of india okay today in this video we will study nbfcs which are not regulated by rbi okay so uh, you know they are also nbfcs but they are into some different kind of businesses uh, okay and they are not uh, regulated by rbi so we are going to discuss that so let us begin the first kind of nbfc that we are going to discuss today is mutual funds ओके okay, आपने नाम सुना होगा यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट म्यूचुअल फंड्स अलॉट म्यूचुअल फंड्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रेस कैन यू नो इन्वेस्ट इन दिस एंड दिस आर गेटिंग वेरी पॉपुलर आफ्टर द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक ओके पीपल आर सेविंग इन म्यूचुअल फंड्स अलॉट दिस हैज बिकम वेरी फेमस रिसेंटली ऑल दो यू नो इट हैज़ बीन देयर इन इंडिया फॉर लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स बट रिसेंटली अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन म्यूचुअल फंड्स so see what how exactly mutual fund works i will i will explain to you the name itself suggests that it is a mutual fund okay mutual meaning sabka milke okay everybody together comes and then they create a fund and uh, and then they invest so basically there are people there are lakhs and crores of people they will invest small small amounts into mutual funds like for example somebody will invest 5000 per month somebody will invest 10000 per month somebody will invest 500 rupees per month so people will contribute in a mutual fund there are many kinds of mutual fund say for example there is a axis mutual fund okay axis mutual fund so people are investing into this now there is a fund manager okay there is a manager there is a person who is expert in managing mutual fund so this fund manager has access to all these funds say for example you know so many lakhs and crores of people have invested the total corpus that this mutual fund has is say uh you know 10000 crore rupees okay so 10000 crore rupees ka mutual fund hai now with this 10000 crore rupees this mutual fund manager he will invest he will create a portfolio okay he will invest this money into different equity different debt okay the other financial products depending on what kind of mutual fund that is for example if the mutual fund is say large cap okay large cap mutual fund meaning large capital mutual fund meaning there are large companies into this okay large capital large companies for example tata reliance okay large large companies are there so this mutual fund will invest only into this large capital companies okay so there are different types of mutual fund there can be small cap okay there can be mid cap meaning uh, uh, you know mid size companies small uh, small companies like startups then there can be uh, you know other types of mutual fund like flexi cap so you know flexi cap meaning it is flexible it can invest in large it can invest in small it can invest in mid cap so there are different kinds of mutual funds okay the basic thing is they collect money from the people uh, uh, in in one place there is a fund manager he will invest he will decide where to invest it okay but by and large this, this portfolio uh, is declared to the people that you know in which uh, particular company that we are going to invest a uh, little bit here and there it will be plus minus but more or less it remains the same so that people are secure that you know their money is getting invested into safe hands okay so instead of people people directly investing into stocks or shares okay see basically what is happening people money is getting invested into equity debt and shares and all those things but instead of people directly investing here people are giving their money to the mutual fund and then mutual fund is investing here okay so there is some kind of buffer here and people also don't have to track the movement of equity and shares every day because they are busy mutual fund is a kind of safe investment uh, they can invest uh, people can invest here without bothering about uh, you know day to day movement of market because this mutual fund manager will uh, do all those work obviously he will charge some fee so usually mutual fund they charge 2 to 5% of commission 2 to 5% of charge this fund manager will charge okay whatever profit you receive he will take that much from it but it is considered to be a safe investment for common people the first mutual fund in india was uti mutual fund okay union trust of india mutual fund this was the first mutual fund that was opened in india 
now let us come to the next kind of uh, uh, nbfc which is the insurance company okay the name itself suggest it is into the insurance business right it is into the insurance business so people people want to secure something they can secure their life they can secure their car they can secure their house they can secure their any property anything so insurance can be for anything so uh, you know people will pay premium to the insurance company okay premium meaning monthly premium annual premium quarterly premium and insurance company will give them the insurance products uh, like for example say uh, if it is a house low house insurance then if you know something happens to your house it burns down or because of earthquake something happens to your house this insurance company will pay you the insurance amount okay similarly there are health insurance also so you know you have to pay premium and if at all something happens the insurance company will pay you back that is how insurance companies work now insurance companies are basically of two types one is the life insurance and second one is called general insurance okay so general insurance uh, life insurance is for life okay ek person ki jaan ke liye hota hai ye so if anything happens to your life it is called as life insurance and general insurance is for any other thing it is for property house car health anything okay anything apart from the life of a person is a uh, general insurance okay so this is how the insurance companies work now let us come to the next kind so the next type is hedge funds next next type of uh, your uh, nbfc is hedge funds so hedge funds is a kind of mutual fund for rich investors okay so there are there is very rich people say ambani and tatas and birlas and all those things so now this very rich people uh, okay they want to invest their money into some businesses okay some businesses okay they have a lot of money they want to invest it into some businesses but they don't want to do it directly so what they will do is they will invest it into hedge funds okay this hedge there will be a hedge fund manager okay hedge fund manager will be there just like mutual fund manager and he will invest into this new businesses where there is a chance of getting high returns okay high returns it is a high risk high returns thing okay so this rich people or the institutional investors they will invest into hedge funds and uh, the hedge funds will give them the units of hedge fund okay just like in mutual fund in mutual fund also these people receive the units of mutual fund not the actual number of shares or equity so they will receive the units of mutual fund similarly here they receive the units of hedge funds that you know if say for example there is a uh, hedge fund uh, called uh, you know carvi capital so carvi capital uh, is an example of hedge fund so say carvi cap uh, somebody has invested in carvi cap uh, say this person has invested 1 crore rupees so uh, h this carvi cap hedge fund will give the units to that person uh, you know worth 1 crore rupees like that <clears throat> so it is very similar to mutual funds but it is for rich people institutional investors okay and they invest in risky investment okay because they want high returns okay they want very high returns they are investing in such businesses which has a property of giving them very high return very high profit like 30% 40% per annum like that so it is a risky investment and long term investment they invest for long term okay it is not like today you are investing tomorrow you are getting your money back or after one year it is a long term investment so that is known as hedge funds uh, example of hedge fund is carvi capital motilal oswald okay these are some of the examples of hedge funds in india now let us come to the next uh, kind of nbfc which is known as a venture capital companies okay venture capital see again venture meaning okay starting any new business venture meaning starting a new business okay so whatever financing is done to start a new business that is known as venture capital so venture capital means financing new businesses with innovative ideas startup so see there are college graduates say for example engineering college students iit students iim students or any uh, any college graduates okay uh, they they have some idea some innovative ideas and they are starting a startup for example this zeroda okay zeroda what a, was a startup okay it was an innovative idea zomato swiggy okay all these things uber all these things were startups by juice these were startups so uh, in order to start a startup you know these people they need money okay they need some financing initially nobody will give them money so they need to have their ideas presented so they do a lot of work so you know there are they will approach the venture capital companies so venture capital companies finances such new startups if they are happy with you know their idea okay and uh, usually these startups are into the uh, you know the activity where there is a commercial application of some new technology okay so some new technology has come up okay for example there is a new technology new technology in air conditioning 
okay there is a new technology in air conditioning now this new technology is just theoretically set up it is it is done only in laboratories but there is no commercial application so there is a group of uh, you know people who wants to you know uh, build a factory or build a company which will uh, you know manufacture air conditioners manufacture acs okay air conditioners by using this technology now they need money for that so they will uh, uh, you know uh, approach the venture capital companies and the venture capital company if they like it they will fund them example of venture capital companies google inc okay google is google also does this kind of activities it funds new startups and so many different things so google inc is a venture capital then notable investments okay notable investment is a company which has invested in an academy so an academy is also a startup okay and it is very famous for upsc preparation also it was started by uh, uh, you know very lot of intelligent and very uh, you know uh, knowledgeable people and it is going on very well it is a very successful one and uh, you know they receive their uh, investment they receive their financing from notable investments okay so uh, notable investment is a venture capital company then another example is sequoia capital okay sequoia capital so this is also a venture capital company now let us come to the next type so merchant banks or investment banking okay you must have heard this uh, name they are exactly the same merchant banking and investment banking is exactly the same they are kind of primary dealers only okay primary dealers primary dealers we have already studied what they do they are directly buying the government securities from rbi so and then they are selling it to common people so they are kind of primary dealer they they manage ipos okay so uh, primary dealers are for the rbi for government securities merchant banks is for private companies okay merchant banks are for private companies new initial public offering new ipos okay if they want to uh, have a ipo initial public offering this we will study in detail so merchant banks will help they will manage it okay they will also uh, do the underwriting uh, activities for the new issues okay underwriting i have already explained to you what is the meaning of that so if there is any company say for example uh, lic lic wants to do its ipo so they, they will approach investment bank they will manage the ipo they will do the underwriting activity underwriting meaning guaranteeing a minimum price okay guarantee of minimum price so this uh, thing they will do then also facilitating of demat trading okay so for example if there is there are common people they want to do trading so this company investment banking company will facilitate this trading okay example is goldman sachs city group jp morgan axis bank sbi capital markets limited etc so these all are uh, investment banks or merchant banking then uh, let us come to the next kind uh, which is the nidhi companies okay nidhi companies see i will explain to you uh, the very simple by very simple uh, this thing uh, diagram <coughs> in nidhi companies uh, the minimum membership is 200 uh, people so two minimum 200 people will come together so they are the members of nidhi companies okay so now this 200 people they will invest okay money into a fund so they will gather a fund here and then they will give loan to the members only okay these members can get the loan from this and then uh, you know any member who gets the loan or any, you know multiple loans can also be given then they will pay back and they will receive the profit it is just kind of that okay so example is muthu to uh, muthu to nidhi limited jayanti india nidhi limited and nidhi companies are more in south india up and bihar okay so nidhi company this concept started in south india in tamil nadu and kerala and uh, also later on in up bihar so most of the nidhi companies in india are in south india and up and bihar okay so it is a very simple one the members only they will gather a fund they will create a fund and then they, from this fund they will give loans to its members only and the members will pay back along with some interest and that is how they all get the profits okay then the next type is vulture funds okay vulture funds uh, there is no vulture fund in india but what is the meaning of vulture fund see vulture means what vulture means uh, you know vulture is a bird vulture is a bird which which feeds which feeds on dead animals or you know carcasses of dead animals okay so jo mar raha hota hai ya jo mar chuka hota hai uske upar vulture uh, feed karta hai okay i don't know the exact word for vulture in hindi i think it is baaj so vulture means baaj if i am wrong please correct me in the correct uh, comment section 
सो बाज पक्षी जो होता है उसको वल्चर बोलते हैं ओके सो इट फीड्स ऑन द डेड एनिमल्स सो वल्चर फंड्स आर दैट काइंड ऑफ फंड ओनली इफ देर इज अ कंपनी विच इज डाइंग ओके कोई कंपनी है जो बहुत लॉस में चल रही है विच इज डाइंग और विच इज ऑलमोस्ट डेड सो दिस फंड्स वल्चर फंड्स विल बाय स्टॉक्स ऑफ कंपनीज विच आर नियरिंग बैंक रप्सी ओके बैंक रप्सी मीन्स कर्ज बाजार ओके okay, कर्ज बाजारी ये कंपनी की हालत इतनी ख़राब है कि पूरी सड़क पे आ गई है और पूरी मतलब पूरी तरह से बैंक हो गई है ओके एंड दे विल ऑब्वियसली दे विल बाय स्टॉक्स ऑफ दिस कंपनी एट अ वेरी वेरी लो प्राइस ओके वो उनसे बहुत ही मा, माटी के मोल में उनसे उनके स्टॉक्स खरीद लेते हैं ओके एंड आफ्टर परचेज दे विल इनिशिएट रिकवरी प्रोसेस टू इंक्रीज द शेयर प्राइस सो नाउ दिस वल्चर कंपनीज वल्चर फंड्स दे आर वेरी स्मार्ट इन यू नो रिकवरिंग द मनी सो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस कंपनी में हैव सम एसेट सम बिल्डिंग सम प्रॉपर्टी सम कार्स ओके सो वॉट दे विल डू दे विल इनिशिएट द रिकवरी प्रोसेस दे विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू यू नो गेट दैट कंपनी बैक ऑन ट्रैक बाई यूजिंग देयर एक्सपीरियंस बाई इन्फ्यूजिंग सम कैपिटल and that is how the share price will increase and uh, you know that is how they will make profits so uh, there is no vulture fund in india okay as of today so we don't know who will regulate them whether rbi will regulate or any other body will regulate but if at all they come i think the sebi uh, should regulate them okay because they are into buying stocks uh, okay and they are playing with the share prices they are playing with the market so if at all a vulture fund uh, establishes in india the सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया शुड हैव द रेगुलेशन ओवर इट देन द नेक्स्ट टाइप दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज चिट फंड्स ओके चिट फंड इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड इट इन द न्यूज अलॉट सो यू नो शारदा चिट चिट फंड स्कैम ओके शारदा चिट फंड स्कैम दिस यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड सो यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट द स्कैम बट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ चिट फंड हाउ डज इट ऑपरेट ओके सो इन चिट फंड people donate money in installment over a set period okay people will give money so there are people they will give money to a chit fund okay over a set period like for example for one year they will be asked if for one year every month you pay 1000 1000 rupees or 10000 rupees like that then each subscriber is entitled to a reward sum determined by a lot auction or tender i will explain to you how it happens okay see for example if there are 10 members okay there are 10 members now this 10 members are uh, depositing 1000 rupees each every month okay so 10 members multiply by 1000 every month collection will be 10000 rupees okay 10000 rupees will be collection now what will happen now these members will bid now these members will uh, so for example there are four members a b c and d now these four members need out of the 10 members this four members needs money okay so person a needs money for education for paying fees okay so he wants to pay say for example he wants to pay rupees 8000 he needs 8000 rupees person b say he needs for health uh, some of its uh, health issue so he needs say rupees 7000 ओके देन द पर्सन सी ही नीड्स मनी फॉर यू नो पेइंग बैक हिज लोन विद हिज फ्रेंड ओके टू पे बैक हिज लोन एंड ही हिज लोन इज रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड ही नीड्स दैट मनी देन देर इज अ पर्सन डी ही नीड्स मनी टू यू नो रिपेयर हिज कार और वॉट एवर ही नीड्स मनी फॉर सम रिपेयर एंड ही इज डिमांडिंग एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज नाउ दिस इज वॉट दिस विल द बिड सो दिस पर्सन आर बिडिंग दे आर सेंग दैट ओके आई नीड एट थाउजेंड आई नीड सेवन थाउजेंड आई नीड नाइन थाउजेंड आई नीड एट एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो विच एवर इज द लोएस्ट बिड सो हियर यू सी द लोएस्ट बिड इज सेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज द सेवन थाउजेंड इज द लोएस्ट बिड सो आफ्टर बिडिंग द लोएस्ट बिड सेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज विल बी गिवन टू द पर्सन हु हैज द लोएस्ट बिड ओके द पर्सन हु हैज द लोएस्ट बिड विल बी गिवन uh we will be allocated that much amount but he has to pay back entire 10000 okay he has to pay back the entire 10000 after one year or whatever is that so now the remaining 3000 rupees remaining 3000 rupees gets distributed to each member again so there are 10 members each member will get 300 rupees okay 300 rupees they will get back okay so this is a kind of profit to the people this 3 300 rupees that they are receiving because see after one year after six months this person will pay the entire 10000 rupees so this 10000 rupees anyway this this will remain in the corpus but this 300 rupees now is a profit for this 10 people okay so these people have received 300 rupees as their profit now this 7000 rupees so you know this chit fund is also organized by a chit fund manager organizer just like the mutual fund manager so there is a organizer he will charge some amount so say he is charging 500 rupees for every 
auction for every month whenever the auction is happening so the final amount is will be subtracted from the 7000 and you know 7000 minus this cheat fund charges 6500 will be paid to the lowest bid person so this person b will receive 6500 okay he will receive 6500 and after one year or whatever is a period of repayment he will pay back the entire 10000 rupees so you know he is paying interest of 3500 on 6500 okay so see this is how this works because he is in urgent need of money so this is how the cheat fund works most of the times how the scams happen the scams will happen i will explain to you the sarada cheat fund scam so the scam will happen where you know these organizers these organizers of cheat fund they will run away with the money they will they will take money from the people this 10000 people the 10000 rupees and he will run away he will not you know conduct the auction and people will not get that their money this profit they will not receive anything so usually that kind of scams happen so i hope you have understood the cheat fund how it operates okay if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section uh, i encourage all of you to keep asking me doubts in the comment section i might have missed a few concepts you know explaining them in detail if you have any doubt please ask me okay so with this we have completed the nbfc from the next video we will start a new topic that is you know the capital markets okay we have already studied the money markets we already studied the nbfcs okay now we will study the capital markets okay capital markets meaning long-term investment so there there are two types one is uh, you know equity market okay and then there will be bond market these are the two major things that we will study apart from other instruments also so we will start this uh, you know in the next video thank you